Hey, Steve from coffeeshopblogger.com and in this video I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way to install WordPress using Cloudways. So, welcome guys to my very first YouTube video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So, Cloudways they are a managed cloud platform and I've only just started using them but they're really great really really impressed so far um, so let's just get straight into it if you don't already have a Cloudways account then you'll need to create one and you, they give you like a three-day trial so I've already gone through my three-day trial um, something you will need to know is any servers you create in that three-day trial once you upgrade um, the servers will be deleted and then you'll need to start again so they give you the three-day trial just to test the service out um, but it's literally just a test so don't set up a website expecting to use it because it will be erased after the three days so I'm just gonna log in to my account you get your list of servers just here um, but when you first create an account you won't have any servers so you just want to head over to add server it's a really simple process you want to select the application and in this case WordPress obviously and um, you get these like projects so you get to create a project I've just called mine coffee shop blogger because that's the name of my blog but the name of the app would be something like the name of your website or you could put like WP and then the website I'm gonna create right now is called um, caffeinated um, caffeinated tutorial Caffe I can even speak there caffeinated uh, spell can't speak caffeinated tutorials.com so that's the website I'm going to be creating right now and is the website I'm going to be using to create all my lovely tutorials for you then the name of your server um, can be something like I put DO for DigitalOcean because that's the company that I'll be using I'll explain what that means in a minute and then I type in something just like main will do. So you've got DigitalOcean. Um, that's the actual company who own the server. And then Cloudways is the platform that manages the whole system and is the thing that's going to install WordPress for us. So this is why I use Cloudways because it's um, it just does a lot of the, the legwork for us. Then you want to choose your server size. I'm just going to choose one gig for now and then the location I'm just going to leave mine to London and you'll notice at the bottom that where you choose you choose the server size the price will go up so if you're just getting started just choose one gig because that's just ten dollars per month and you want to click on launch now So then what will happen is you'll get this screen. This is the server we're working on right now. And it's saying that it's adding the server. It's going to take um, about seven minutes. When you first create a server, it takes about five to seven minutes to set everything up because it needs to set up the server and like it does all the configuration it needs to install WordPress. And then it actually installs WordPress. But once you've set this server up, if you want to add WordPress, like another WordPress website, to the same server, because you can just keep adding WordPress websites to the same server, so you're not paying more money. Once you do that, then it just installs WordPress, and then it only takes a couple of minutes each time you do that. So because it's the first time, it's going to take about seven minutes. So what I'll do is I'll skip through this with the power of editing. So you'd have to wait and watch me do this.
two minutes. Two minutes. Right, okay guys, it's done. So here's our server finished. Um, if we click on the these things down the side here um, are about the server itself. So because we've clicked on server servers and then we've clicked on the actual server. All this information on this page is about the server. So if we want to look at the information about the website, our WordPress installation, we click on the little www bit there and then click on the thing that we just created. Now when we click on this, this gives us all the information we need um, about the WordPress installation and it's, it's all completely done. You can actually click on this little link here, opens up a new tab, and this is our WordPress website, all completely finished. It's all customized and all uh, configured um, to work on the Cloudways server um, really fast. And we've got our <clears throat> login link is here, um, so we can use our username here and password so you can just click here to copy it and click here to copy that to put our details in let's just do that now and I'll show you so there we go we've logged into WordPress now obviously we don't want our WordPress website to have this domain name we want our own domain name and I'm going to show you how to do that now um, by the way the database information is here as well um, they have a launch database manager as well so you get to um, go into the database if you've got a developer that you can hire to look inside your database you've got access to that as well um, I will probably go over that in another video so what we want to do is set up our domain name and you want to come down to domain management um, actually before we do that what we're going to do is copy the IP address here and then I'm going to go to my um, domain name registrar which I'm using Namecheap because I've just always used them they're great really cheap obviously in the name really Okay, so this account I've got here is, I've only got one domain name in it, which is the domain name I need to manage. What we want to do is come down to our Namecheap account and make sure it says Namecheap Basic DNS. And then click on Advanced DNS. And what we want to do is delete these, don't need these ones, delete that. Right, okay, okay, I can't delete both, let's just delete one. I'll create a new one. And you want to create an A record. Now what we're doing is we are pointing our domain name to the IP address. The IP address is our server. And you can either, what I like to do is I like to point my, um, point my domain name to the, the root directory. So without the www. Dot. I, I never have www. Dot at the beginning of my websites because I just don't see the point. So to do that, you just put an at symbol and then you just paste your IP address in here and then you want to choose where it says automatic you want to choose one minute because the quicker it will refresh it will point to that server quicker and then click on the the little tick then we can get rid of this one because we don't need that <clears throat> um, and then if we click on the main again
I'm going to add this redirect. So what we want to make sure is if someone types in www dot then it won't go anywhere because I've not added it to the DNS record. I'm going to get it so that if someone does type it in, it just automatically redirects to the um, the thing without like the non www dot. So we're going to put in our domain name, which is this. And I'm just going to come up here, copy that, paste that in, and then I'm going to paste it in, and then just put in HTTP. Um, colon forward slash. So now, if anyone types that in, it will go directly to here. Then we want to come back over to our Cloudways installation of WordPress. Then we click on domain management. So this is what this is doing is telling Cloudways that this is our domain name. So instead of um, loading up that long string of text in the cloudways dot cloudways dot com, we want it to load up this instead. So I've just paste I'll paste that in because I saved it a minute ago. Right, and once it's done, that doesn't take long. Here we go. It was done. Domain has been done. So because I selected only one minute at my domain registrar, it should technically be updated already. So now I've come back over to my access details, it's changed that to the domain name I want it to be. So if I click on that now, there we go, there's our website. And if I click on that and type in www dot see that it just it just changed it quickly um, that's what we want so now if we click on the admin and we paste our our login details in again we're now in our WordPress admin and it's got our full domain name here. So that's basically it really. I'm, I'm not going to go into WordPress in this video. Um, if you've got any questions about what I've just done, if you need help with anything, put a question in the comments section and I will be available to answer any of your questions. Um, I hope this video has helped um, hope, helped you learn about how to install WordPress. I know that sometimes it can be quite a daunting task to install WordPress and I mean I've been working with WordPress and installing WordPress for the best part of 14 years and um, there's a lot of kind of systems you can use like these one-click installations through things like um, Hostgator or um, like Bluehost um, but I personally don't like those types of installations because they can be a little bit like unsecure, insecure, insecure, unsecure, unsecure. Um, but because this is a, a cloud, a managed cloud hosting platform by Cloudways, they, their whole sort of process is to make sure it's secure and, and stuff. So I know, I know that it's definitely uh, just just the way I prefer to do things anyway. Um, and before this, I would I would personally do it all manually, um, which is a pain. It can take a long time. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did. And um, be sure to subscribe so you get to see all my other videos in the future. Thanks very much.